Hello everyone, welcome to Microsoft Excel Intermediate course. In this course, we are going to cover the statistical function, which is include sum f versus sum fs and count f versus count f s. Uh, we are going to find the difference between all these function how they work and why, why they work if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and if, if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and now we are going to jump to the uh, function first of all we are going to type the formula function from the keyboard sum f this is our first formula uh, now we are going to give the uh, range this is our range after we specify the range now we are going to edit on the formula bar here all the formula now we are going to give the uh, criteria should be item 1 then we are going to specify the sum range the sum range will be started from B2 up to B22 just press enter from the keyboard the formula will be accepted this is exactly equal to 60 as you see we if we come here and change this this is change to the 62 now turn the 60 back now we are going to jump to the second form of the uh, sum f containing is we are coming here and typing the uh, sum f now they are asking us for, for the sum range sum range is from b2 up to the b22 which is done now they are asking the first criteria range from us the first criteria range is a uh, to from the a22 now what is the criteria criteria is like the previous one item one now the criteria range is uh, based on as you see uh, b2 uh, up to the b22 criteria must be 10 now we are going to specify the third criteria range criteria third criteria range must be uh, c2 up to the C22 and the criteria must be 180 now we are going to accept the formula to find out what the reason is as you see we got the 50 here from these because this is the item 1 10 but this is 102 here we have a 5 result in 180 now if we come to change the 102 to the 180 it will be also changed to the 60 as you see guys this effects this is what we providing when we come to the formula we if the all these condition are match item 1 10 in 120 then the formula work for us else it will not work and it will give us the fault value for so coming to the next one f count f in the count f function we are coming here as usual we are press the equal sign now we are putting the count selecting the count f they asking us the range from us the range is also b2 and b22 criteria should be 10 whenever they find the 10 number 10 they will calculate and count the number of 10 this is a six time tens tens is in this range now we are jumping to the next one to the count f here also we are pressing the uh, equal sign from the keyboard and typing the count f s now they ask us the criteria range criteria range we are going to give them is to 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 the a22 now range 1 is specified and they asking from the criteria 1 we are going to like the sum f function uh, criteria is 1 now we are jumping to the second criteria second criteria range is b2 to the b22 and the criteria should be 10 
Now we are jumping to the third criteria. Third criteria is C2 up to the C22 and the criteria should be 180. All the formula is completed. Now I'm going to press the control enter from the keyboard. Again we got the result 6. Now we are going to change this number only when you change this number you will see the effect on those these two function i'm going to change this to the 181 this is 50 this is 5 but these two are yet 6 because the 10 is come this is on these two formula is uh, connected to the this cell and this functions are checking all these three uh, columns when where they are match each other they will calculate for us like item 1 10 180 but this is 100 into 1 therefore they are calculating 5 for us and therefore when we change this back to the 800 and t and they will get the exact result for us so guys this was the difference between the f uh, all these functions have a good day see you